Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4396 Warren sunglasses. But first off, link today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 54 millimeter lenses and a 24 millimeter bridge. And these frames are a part of Ray-Ban's uh, bio-based frames. Now I've already reviewed the Ray-Ban Wayfarers with bio-based frames and if you're interested in exactly what that means I'm going to leave a link description below directly to my Ray-Ban uh, Wayfair bio-based video where I go in depth into what that actually entails and really it doesn't seem like it's much uh, but definitely uh, the packaging is a little bit different and even the case that you get is different. So here we can see the case that comes with the uh, bio-based frame and it kind of feels like very cardboardy and honestly really cheap, uh, but it definitely looks pretty interesting. It feels like it's gonna fall apart. It definitely feels like you don't want this to get wet, like it's just gonna kind of absorb it like cardboard would and then kind of fall apart. Uh, but it does have the little Ray-Ban logo here, uh, which definitely looks pretty good. And uh, again, it feels like cardboard, but you know, if it's actually, you know, helps the world become more sustainable, it's not the end of the world. Uh, personally, I do prefer the uh, leather ones, uh, but you know, th that definitely works and kind of protects the frames from getting scratched. So, you know, it is what it is there. Now, as far as styling goes, these frames definitely look very unique and I really don't hate the way they look on face. I think they look pretty nice with their more squared off uh, styling to them. And then here how the temples kind of taper, that looks really nice as well. Now these frames are made out of Ray-Ban's uh, bio-based uh, acetate material. Uh, and these frames look absolutely beautiful. The exact colorway that I'm wearing in today's video have Ray-Ban's polished transparent brown frames, which look really, really good in my opinion. And then the lenses are Ray-Ban's dark green polarized lenses. And these are actually a plastic lens, so they're not an all glass lens. So they're not going to be quite as scratch resistant and they're also not gonna have quite as good optical clarity as glass would have either. Uh, but the optical clarity of these is still pretty decent, nothing too crazy. Now like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, these have a little painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. That's there for authentication purposes. And then we can also see a little etched RB logo here in the middle left of the lens, again there uh, for verification purposes. Now if we move down the outside temples, we can see these raised Ray-Ban logos in both the left and the right hand side which are pretty big and a little bit loud i personally don't prefer logos all over my frames uh, but these definitely do have them and they are ray-ban so that's kind of to be expected with a pair of ray-ban sunglasses now if we take a look at the inner right temple of the frames we can see they say bio-based frames but then if we take a look here at the inner left temple there isn't any information whatsoever it's completely clean and that's because the information is actually here on the underneath side because it would disrupt uh, the clear frames and you could see it from the sides that would look bad so they put it here on the bottom Bottom. So here we can see all the exact Luxottica colorway code and all that good stuff. And then here on the uh, bottom on this side, we can see it says Ray-Ban T Polarized. Now usually anytime a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses says Ray-Ban T, that frame is made in China. These don't say they are made in China, but if you take a look at the logo on the box when you buy the frames, you can actually see it does say made in China. So these are a Chinese pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now I'm sure as you guys know, I have a huge issue with Ray-Ban making sunglasses in China and also the build quality is absolutely terrible. Back in the day, most Ray-Bans were actually handmade in America, and then when they were bought by Luxottica, they moved them to Italy, naturally, and the Italian craftsmanship wasn't quite as good as the American, and they kind of cheapened the brand a little bit, but they're still, you know, very good. But then they moved all of their production over to China, and these Chinese frames are absolutely terrible. They're horrible. So, uh, first off, do you hear that? These frames are squeaking. I've literally like felt dollar store sunglasses that felt better than these. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, of course, they didn't have nearly as good looking acetate. These are very pretty, uh, but they didn't have as good looking acetate as these do. Uh, but uh, the squeaking is ridiculous. That's insane. And if you actually grab the lenses here, the lenses are actually moving. Again, it's gonna be hard to show that on video, but the lenses are actually moving within the frame. That's what's making that really horrible squeaking sound. These are, I just cannot explain to you how bad and how unacceptable this is. Coming from a brand like Ray-Ban, these frames are literally not worth $20 in my opinion. They're horrible, these are horrible. I feel like I could even pop the lens out pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, basically, just a little bit of force and the lenses even pop out. 
this is a horrible, horrible pair of sunglasses. Um, there you go, boom. Just a little bit of effort and then the lenses pop out. I, I don't know what to say. And yeah, I really don't know what to say about these frames. The build quality is absolutely terrible. This is probably one of the most disappointing frames that I've ever bought from Ray-Ban. And uh, I'm still gonna have these linked in the description down below on our website. I personally own 100% of that website, but basically for tax reasons and everything, I do have to have these available for sale because uh, I did buy them and I can't you know, destroy them or whatever. Uh, but yeah, they are gonna be available. They're gonna be available for basically wholesale. Uh, I'm not gonna make any money on these frames. And uh, as far as looks go, they don't look bad. The build quality is just not good. And uh, it's kind of funny now that I'm finishing this review about lenses, but um, you know, I popped these out. I probably could pop them back in pretty easily without using heat. Uh, but yeah, uh, sorry for the ranty video. I really do get frustrated when Ray-Ban makes these horrible, horrible, horrible frames in China. You could never do that with a pair of Ray original Ray-Ban light bears. You could never pop the lenses out. The lenses would not shift. Nothing like that at all would happen with a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but that's the case with these Chinese ones. They're just really, really bad. Um, so yeah, actually these frames do look pretty good as eyeglasses. So, so if you bought these frames and then had prescription lenses put in them, uh, hopefully they do a better job at actually making the lenses uh, fit in the frames properly, unlike Ray-Ban did from the factory with their sunglass lenses. Uh, so yeah, these frames would be decent. They do have a uh, five barrel all metal hinges, which feel pretty good when open them and close them. They actually feel very good. And uh, they do have a metal rod that goes all the way through the acetate. Uh, so. Basically, the biggest issue with these frames is the fitment. The fitment of the lenses is absolutely horrible and then that completely cheapens the pair of sunglasses completely and makes them basically unwearable. Uh, but if you do get a prescription lens put in these frames, uh, make sure that they are doing it properly and it should fit in like glove and it shouldn't have any movement in them. Now it is possible that I just got a really bad quality controlled pair of frames, but either way, after handling hundreds of pairs of Chinese Ray-Ban sunglasses, this is the normal. This is standard for Ray-Ban's quality control for frames coming out of China. I don't care what Lozotica says. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm speaking of my own personal experience with Chinese Ray-Ban sunglasses, and it has been absolutely horrible 90% of the time with a few, few exceptions. Uh, but yeah, that's all your friends in this video. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and I'll catch you all in the next one.